Hi everyone. So in this particular video, we'll be discussing something called as earned value management or also called as earned value analysis. So what is the use of doing earned value management? See, whenever a project is progressing, if you want to know the status of the project with respect to its budget, as well as with respect to its schedule, then you carry out earned value management. So we can do the same in Primavera as well as we can do the same manually also using Excel also. But see, Primavera has some built-in terminologies related to uh, earned value management. Like we'll go to customize columns and we'll directly see there and see in the option of earned value. If you see, it has so many terminologies related to earned value. So some of these are very significant. These will give you a very good idea of your project progress with respect to budget and schedule. So we'll add some of the terminologies and we'll see the results of using this. Like we'll see the values which it will display for several activities and then and there we will understand the use of it. Okay. And with this, we can also develop the S curve, which we'll be learning in the later part of our videos so uh, we'll move actual cost so first of all we'll move it here at the end then budgeted completion then cost performance index then cost variance we can use then we can also go for earned value cost then estimate at completion cost so these are some very important terminologies i'm skipping something related to labor units because see earned value labor units will be nothing but your just I'll show you earned value cost. So it will be related to earned value labor units. So not much difference. So that is why I'm not including those terms there. Estimate to complete. Uh, it's not required for labor units. Then planned value. It is very much required. Then your SPI is required. We'll move SPI also. Then your schedule variance is required. Then your uh, variance at completion is required. Then this is also required. We'll move this. Schedule variance is also required. So I think we have uh, moved almost everything. If we'll require something else to be moved, we'll do that. So see, actual total cost and budgeted total cost, you all know, we have only scheduled three activities as of now. So activity number one and activity number two, both of these activities have got completed. If you see the third activity and the status of this, then the original duration for this activity was 10 days. Right now, four days have got completed and we have projected that this particular activity will take further eight days to get completed. So overall, the activity will get completed in 12 number of days. Okay. So from this particular columns, you can see, see these two particular columns are very important for uh, carrying out the earned value management activity percentage complete and schedule percentage complete. I have already explained these two columns in the previous video so activity percentage complete is nothing but how much of your work has got completed and schedule percentage completed complete means how much of the time of your schedule has completed see original duration was 10 days and four days have already passed so that says that 40 percent of your actual scheduled duration has got completed but 20 percent activity percentage complete signifies that only 20 percent of the work has got completed so these two values will be very important for the evm okay so actual total cost we know and budgeted total cost also we know so first of all we will move to planned value we will start with planned value what is planned value see planned value is nothing but your authorized budget that is assigned to the scheduled work basically it is also called as bcws which is nothing but your budgeted cost for your work scheduled how much of the work you have scheduled and how much is the budget with respect to that particular schedule is called as the planned value. So see, this activity has got completed totally. And this activity has also got completed. So the total budgeted cost will be equal to the planned value for these activities. If you go to the resources and if you add the budgeted cost for this particular activity, so 8,000 plus uh, 6,000 multiplied by three. So 6,000 multiplied by three is your 18,000 plus 8,000 will give you 26,000. So here the planned value will be equal to your budgeted cost. Okay. Because your schedule is hundred percent complete. Then for that particular schedule. So basically you can calculate this particular value by 
adding the budgeted cost and multiplying the total budgeted cost by the scheduled percentage. So scheduled percentage, we know that it is 100%. The 100% duration has already passed. So if you add the budgeted cost and multiply it by one, will give you the planned value. Similarly, for second activity also, scheduled percentage is 100%. But for third activity, the scheduled percentage is only 40%. Your 40% of the time has only elapsed. So what you need to do is you need to add the budgeted cost for this. So all the budgeted cost for all the resources you add. If you add, it will come somewhere around uh, 20, I think 21 lakh and 45,000 it's coming and you have to multiply it by 40%. So it will give you somewhere around 858040 dollars so this will be your planned value okay so i hope planned value is clear to you in short how much is the schedule based on that particular schedule how much was your budget as per that particular schedule okay that's it now moving on to earned value cost so if you see here then earned value cost is nothing but your budgeted cost and you have to multiply it by the actual percentage. So earned value is nothing but your BCWP budgeted cost for work performed. How much work you have performed for that particular quantity which you have performed. How What was your budget with respect to that? Okay. So see the difference between planned value and budget value is that planned value will take see for example if I say that uh, till today you should have done like suppose there is one activity that activity should have completed by like suppose 100 meter cube was to be done suppose concreting activities to be done then till today you should have completed 50 meter cube of that particular activity then your planned value will be based on 50 meter cube the budget that is assigned for 50 meter cube suppose one meter cube is costing suppose 100 rupees then 5000 rupees will be your planned value because you were supposed to do 50 meter cube till today but you could only do 10 meter cube okay then 10 multiplied by 100 which is nothing but your 1000 rupees is your earned value that means how much quantity you have performed what was the budget with respect to that quantity what is the budgeted rate it is 100 rupees per meter cube so you have to simply multiply this budget rate with the quantity that you have scheduled will give you planned and the quantity which you have executed will give you the earned value cost okay so you just uh, multiply this 26000 see this will be same earned value and planned value will be same for these two activities because actual has also been 100% completed. Now for this particular activity, you just add the budgeted cost and multiply it by 20%. So it will give you something around 429020 dollars. I hope this is clear to you. Now moving on to the third parameter which is called as actual cost. So actual cost is very very simple. You just need to add all the actual cost. In the resources tab if you go for all the resources you will get the actual cost. You add them up and you will get the uh, respective actual cost for your activity. Okay. Now moving on to the next parameter which is nothing but your budget at completion. See how to calculate budget at completion and what is budget at completion. Budget at completion is nothing but your budgeted amount for total work which is equal to your budgeted cost only so for that particular activity how much you have budgeted that will be your budget at completion that ideally at completion of this particular activity you should have spent only twenty six thousand dollars which is nothing but your budgeted cost if you add the budgeted cost it it does not depend on the completion actual completion and all it is just your initial plans initial budget you need to add the budgeted cost for all the resources that's it okay next parameter is estimate at completion cost so this one if you see estimated completion cost so this will be see there is one formula to calculate this you can what you can do is see if we go to third third activity okay then for third activity you know that actual cost that you have spent is 
somewhere around 8 lakh and 60000 so this particular cost you have spent in four number of days since your activity has only run for four number of days and you have spent 8 lakh 60000 but you have predicted in the status if you see that this activity will get completed in total number of 12 days that means eight additional days then how much of the total cost you can spend in this particular activity in four days you spent 8 lakh 60000 in 12 days you will spend 8 lakh 60000 divided by 4 multiplied by 12 simply based on unit number you can uh, calculate this so this will give you a number called as uh, somewhere around 2 lakh uh, 58 uh, 58000 no 25 lakh 87600 dollars okay so this is how you can calculate the estimate at completion in short form it is called as eac okay so the formula is actual cost spent divided by the actual days which have been passed multiplied by the total expected duration for this particular activity now moving on to the next parameter which is your estimate to complete okay so estimate to complete means how much remaining cost is pending for the activity to complete for first two activities since the activities have got had already got completed so there is no estimate that is pending to complete but for the third activity there is some amount which is yet pending so how can you calculate this simple estimate at completion you know you have already projected that when the activity will get completed this much of the cost would have incurred minus the actual cost already you have incurred some actual cost no so this minus your actual cost will give you the estimate to complete this shows that how much of your cost is pending for the activity to get completed that's it next parameter is variance at completion so if you see the variance at completion it, it will simply show you how much of the cost will be overspent or underspent in completing of that activity so the negative will so show that you have overspent as per your budget so basically you have to subtract your estimate at completion from the budgeted value so the formula will be your budgeted cost minus your estimate at completion so negative shows that you have overspent see in second activity since the second activity got completed in lesser number of days as per the budget like budgeted was 6 days and it it got completed in 4 days that is why the variance is positive that means you have saved in this particular activity but for third activity if you see what is the budgeted cost we'll go to the budgeted cost so budgeted cost is 20 uh, 1 lakh 45000 something and your estimate at completion is eac is uh, 25 lakh and 87000 so definitely this is gonna exceed your budget so that is why it is coming as negative okay next particular parameter is called as cost variance and schedule variance so first of all we'll study the cost variance so cost variance is nothing but how much uh you are varying the cost with respect to your earned value earned value means the budgeted cost of work performed so basically you can calculate cost variance by subtracting ev minus ac earned value minus your actual value so this is the cost variance it will give you some idea for the over budget okay so what is the actual cost so first of all we'll uh, check the earned value cost so if you go earned value cost is 4 lakh 29000 okay and your actual cost is 8 lakh 60000 so if you see the cost variance so the cost variance is coming as i'll just expand this 4 lakh 30000 something and negative so that shows that your activity is over budgeted okay next is schedule variance so for schedule variance what you have to do is see earned value is whatever work you have performed whatever quantities you have executed the budgeted cost of that particular quantity will be considered in your earned value and actual cost it will give you the actual amount that you have spent that is why you are using ac and ev for your uh, cost variance calculation because it does not these two parameters do not give any indication about the schedule but your planned value will give the idea of your schedule because it will be the budgeted cost for the quantities that were supposed to get executed so that is why we will use ev and pv to calculate the schedule variance so schedule variance will be calculated by ev minus pv earned value minus your planned value so you see what is the earned value earned value is 4 lakh 29000 
and your plant value is uh, here's the plant value 8 lakh 58000 something so if you subtract them you will get somewhere around minus 4 lakh 29000 so this will give you the schedule variance and negative value will show that you are behind your schedule okay now moving on to next two parameters which are nothing but just like your schedule variance and cost variance but they are ratios so one is your cost performance index and another is your schedule performance index so cpi will be calculated by earned value divided by actual cost whereas cost variance was calculated by earned value minus actual cost so cpi is ev divided by av ac so this will give you 0.62 1.71 and 0.50 so clearly uh, first activity if you see it is 0.62 so it is behind cost like it's over over budgeted over cost overrun in the cost second one is 1.71 so definitely the cost is under control and again for third activity cost is overshoot okay so this is how you can calculate your cost performance index okay now moving on to schedule performance index so you see for first two first two activities it is almost one so how do you calculate the spi spi is calculated by earned value divided by your planned value so for third activity if you see you are running behind schedule and it is 0 0.50 see cost performance index will give you an idea of like how much worth of work got out of every one dollar spent if you spend one dollar then with that one dollar you got the worth of 0.5 of the work okay for second activity if you see you have spent one dollar but worth of work that you got is 1.71 dollar so def definitely a cpi of greater than one is expected okay it will be greater than one only when your actual cost will be minimum because ac is in the denominator so actual cost should be minimum as possible so similar for uh, cpi uh, spi also it will give you the worth of every one day you have spent at site so these are all the very important parameters but one again one important parameter that is left is tcpi to complete performance index so see what is the use of tcpi so tcpi can be calculated by dividing the two ratios two basically subtractions bac minus ev divided by eac minus ac budget at completion minus your earned value divided by estimate at completion minus your actual cost so you can calculate by putting the values you will see that these factors will come like this only but see if a value is near to one so that particular value will show that your estimate at completion whatever you are thinking that we are estimating the activity to get completed in this particular cost if the value of this tcpi is near to one then it is possible that your estimate at completion will get reached but if your value is greater than one then it is it goes difficult to achieve that particular cost but if this value is greater than 1.1 then definitely the project has gone out of control and you will have to take some serious uh, precautions with respect to cost control so that you complete your project within this estimate at completion cost otherwise otherwise you will have huge overruns of cost in your project okay so these are all parameters uh, which help us in uh, assessing the, uh, what to say, health of a project, that how a project is performing with respect to cost as well as with respect to schedule. So thank you everyone, goodbye.